Hello everybody, welcome to the Liverpool Instant Match Reaction. My name is Ben Kelly, joining me is Bailey. Liverpool have just beaten Southampton three goals to one Get at St Mary's. To go top, back to the top of the Premier League, Man City, of course, do have that game in hand, but that is that is such a big hurdle. The last two games have been such big hurdles to manage. We saw that game out really well tonight. Um, we're going to just jump straight into it. We're filming the final words straight after this, so we're going to try and keep this as short as possible. Um, but, Bay, let's just start. I mean, obviously, they started really well. They did. Um, and, and we didn't. Mm -hmm. And obviously, Long gets the goal after, after nine minutes, and, and Southampton, you know, they seem to be outplaying us a little bit, you know. With their, they set up really well. They they were putting a lot of good stuff together. Um, it, it was quite a surprise. Yeah, no, definitely. I thought I was getting shades of Napoli away, mm. sort of at the start of that game. That was especially in the purple kit. Yeah, <laughs> God, yeah. 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 But um, that sort of the inability to string and get some successful passes together, just looking under pressure when in reality we shouldn't have been. But credit to Southampton, I think that might be the best sort of lower 14 team performance that I've seen sort of especially in that first sort of half an hour and there was dribs and drabs throughout the game but really really credit to them it was a really well worked goal from them you know um, you could say the defenders could do better but it was a really nice flick on and then Shane Long finishes it pretty excellently compared to you know, know what we know of Shane Long exactly. yeah I mean they, they, they overloaded us a bit at the back post didn't they? Yeah. I think, I think it, it, it was a surprise and it wasn't the way they played I mean you know that they're down there, but the form since Hassan Hulth has arrived has been very good. They've obviously beaten Spurs, beaten yeah. Arsenal at St Mary's as well. Burnley. Um, but yeah, exactly. So, so they're a good side. Let's just talk about the team because mm -hmm. obviously it was the midfield that we all kind of wanted yeah. in, in Wayne Alden, Fabinho, and Keita. Mm -hmm. But other than Keita getting the equaliser, and so it didn't really deliver, did it? Do you not think? No, I agree. And it, it, this big shot for me was Fabinho. Mm -hmm. I thought at times he looked a bit out of place, yeah. and I think that you know what what we hailed him so much for is being able to break up play make those crunching passes be able to pass forward really accurately but when we brought on Henderson and Jones Milner towards the end of the game I think they were massive difference yeah. makers you know these these players that we're supposedly replacing with Fabinho and Naby Keita these sort of these old heads these sort of guys that are surplus to requirements with these new guys have, have come in and really stated a claim as to why that he's con they're constantly being picked by Klopp sort of week in week out yeah I mean maybe that's why you know, we we always get confused really when Fabinho's left out. Yeah. But maybe he's he is just still adapting. Obviously, yeah, at true. the beginning of the season, he was he was he wasn't in the team a lot. Mm. And we we're all wondering why. And, and I suppose even though we, the majority of what we've seen of him post Christmas mm. has been excellent. Yeah. But I suppose you know it's still his debut season. Yeah. He's still feeding his way into the side. Maybe obviously Klopp just sees so much more more of him than we yeah. do. Mm. Um, I, I'm, he'll have better games than today. But mm. you know, one of, today was today was obviously one of those. Yeah. Let's talk about the goal then obviously because Naby equalises you can see the relief on his face bless him he's yeah. like he's just so happy to get that goal yeah. prize that we didn't really create loads mm. um, we were we were knocking the door a little bit I'd say you know 10-15 minutes prior to the mm. goal you know we, we, we got we Fit, sort of felt our way into the game. Yeah, um, really good to see him get a goal. Isn't it? Oh, mate, I, I, I tweeted. And it was offside. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, what can you do, <laughs> hey, James Milner? Yeah, but um, I think that that um, I, I tweeted straight after the game. I think all three of our goal scorers tonight really deserved that goal in their own individual right. You know, the Henderson hate camp that are saying, "Oh, why is Fabinho not playing over him?" Naby Keita, obviously, it was only yesterday that sort of Statman Dave comes out and says Scott McTominay has got more goals than. Then Naby Keita has, and he cost £40 million less. And then, of course, you've got... Who's the other player that scored? De Bruyne. De Bruyne scored. Oh, to, to De Bruyne. De as in for oh, Liverpool. For Liverpool. Oh, it will Keita. Be Keita, Henderson and Matt Salah. Today. Salah, exactly. Yeah. Of course, Mr. Bo Salah Mr. gets Mr. his 50th exactly, goal, yeah. which is... Which is mental. And, you know, fair play to him. And what I love the most about that is, you know... Even even though it's been so long and obviously the Spurs goal didn't go down in yeah. his name, you know, so so it's gone on a week longer. This goal, this goal drought. Yeah. But he, he's just so calm and cool all the time. He takes off his shirt. He knows how good he is. Yeah. Yeah. He's got he's got every he's got every bit of self confidence he yeah. did last season. Yeah. And he knows that this Liverpool fan base and the fans in front of him fucking love him. Yeah. And that's what I love about him so much. He mm. just he, he cares about us. And he knows we care about him. And, and obviously it's, it's a two way street. And he takes that shirt off and he's just like, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, I, I, I know I'm boss. It's yeah. fine. And it's that. It's not that sort of claps to the floor and relief, sort of like, oh, oh yeah. my God, thank God that's Everybody over. Yeah, yeah, it was take the shirt off, square <laughs> his shoulders up to the fans and say, I am the shit. Like, mm. I, I am the reason why I was in the Ballon d'Or nominations last season. I am the reason why I was in the PFA team of the year. I am th that good. It, mm. Okay, it may have taken me a little while, but all great goal scorers have little droughts. And mm. I think that the way that he takes that goal is brilliant. I mean, we were all screaming, 
pass the ball, yeah. pass to Bobby, the pass is on. And the way he finishes that, it just shuts everybody it's up. It's absolutely world class. Yeah. It really is special. You know, obviously, he gets it pretty much midway in our yeah. own half. Yeah. And then I had the re- I was shouting pass because I was picturing the um, the chance that was similar last week yeah. against Spurs yeah. where we could have slipped it into yeah. Mane. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh my God, if he, if he does that again and we don't win... You know, it's one of them where you know you really begin rhetoric, to you, be, you really begin to sort of analyse mm. that he needs to be passing more. But yeah. obviously, if he's starting to prove that he's getting a bit of swag about kind of a bit of confidence, I, I mean, that goal, the, the way I thought of taking a deflection at first, it was that good because yeah. yeah. the curl he's got on it to then just bounce to the inside of the post and go in. No keeper in the world. It's it's, it's no exactly, and, it, and, and it's exactly what you need in a game like that and especially for the last five games of the season you know we've got next Premier games against Chelsea yeah. massive massive game and you need the, you need your, all of your from all of your forwards to be firing you need all of them to come up with the best of the best that they can give and most of did exactly that tonight he didn't shy away from it you know at half time people were saying oh he just he looks weak he doesn't look as confident as he does and as he's, as they've been saying for the last month six weeks that is the Mo Salah, Mo Salah performance. That is the Mo Salah full stop to the rhetoric that is, that is Mo Salah's a one-season wonder. Mo Salah is blah, blah, blah. He's nowhere near Aguero's level, all this stuff. Mm. It stops there. That, that It stops. Like, that is Mo Salah put into the haters, put into everybody that's doubted him. I'm back. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, we then get the third through yeah. Henderson. <laughs> it was a funny one because I think Sky were, like, showing a replay mm. and then suddenly Firmino <laughs> had it. And we were saying, we were like, oh, right, okay. Yeah. Um, so, so, but how nice was it? to have a two-goal cushion for that last five minutes because it would have been scrappy. So if Anthem would have gone route one mm. and it would have been you know, back, back to the wall for the last five minutes, mm. it makes it makes a change actually to mm. be just be, be a bit in a bit more control than yeah. we've probably been used to over the last few weeks. Yeah, usually from the last game, I mean. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Spurs was nail-biting right to the finish and exactly, you, you, got, yeah. you get to enjoy that for two minutes before mm. the final whistle goes. That was a full... John Anderson scores it, of all people. Yeah. A really, really nice take and finish. Ex- excellent layoff from Bobby and it's like... Oh, oh! If we if we have to do this, I and mean, we said it against Spurs, this, this is six more times, and I can't take it. But you know what? That's you take six more. I, I, I'd <laughs> take six more of them every five day more, of the week. Five more. Five, five more now. Weeks. Five more every day of the week because that's that's football. That's what yeah. that's what we watch football for. That's why we start channels like the Redmen TV because we want to showcase to the world the joy that, that that sort of football brings. And I think that that was. It was lovely for for fans and for Jordan Henderson. I'm really really happy he got the you goal. Could see, you could see it on his face. Yeah, it really meant loads. That's his, that's his first goal since the Chelsea banger at Stamford Bridge. It's that long um, ago. And he's I, you know you just know that he's that he's missed it. You know what I mean? I think. Um, oh no no, he scored at Leicester last season. That was the okay. last time. I think, okay. I think, I but, think. He, but he's a man that but doesn't he's, score he's, a lot yeah, of goals he's, he's, yeah he doesn't score a lot look we'll wrap it up there so as I say we're about to fill the final word it's, it's going to be a good one it's 10 past 10 now uh, we're going to be here until the early knockings of the morning but we don't care because Liverpool won 3-1 away at Southampton um, like, the, like the video subscribe to the channel leave us a comment on your thoughts on the game down below um, yeah and go over to the redmentv.com and check out the final word show that we're about to film thanks for watching everyone thanks Bailey for You're your awesome. thoughts and we'll see you next time five games to go everybody it's a wrap